Number one, the population of Austin, Texas from 1850 to 2010 is summarized in the table below. They give us the year and population. Over which period of time was the average rate of change in population the greatest? All we have to do is find the difference in population over the difference in amount of years. So for number one, this would be 487. Number two, this would be equal to 14,805. Number three, this would be equal to 5,967. And number four, this would be 2,965. So it's choice two. Number two, which expression is not equivalent to 36 times x to the power of 6 minus 25 times y to the power of 4? All we have to do is combine like terms for number one. For number one, as we can see, this would be equal to the expression. Number two, we can see this would also be equal to the expression. But when we try number three, this would be 36 times x to the power of 12 which is not equal to 36 times x to the power of 6 minus 25 times y to the power of 8, which is double 25 times y to the power of 4. So the answer is choice 3. Number 3. What are the zeros of s of x is equal to x to the power of 4 minus 9 times x to the power of 2 plus 3 times x to the power of 3 minus 27x minus 10x squared plus 90? We can just put this into the calculator to find the zeros, and once we go to second graph, we can see the zeros are negative 5, negative 3, 2, and 3. Number 4. If theta is an angle in standard position whose terminal side passes through the point negative 2, comma, negative 3, what is the numerical value of tan of theta? So as we know, tan of theta is equal to the sine of theta over the cosine of theta. We can put this into a triangle and the hypotenuse would be x, and the legs are negative 2 and negative 3. Following the equation, a squared plus b squared is equal to c squared, we can see that a, um, we can see the hypotenuse would be equal to the square root of 13. So now we could plug this in. Sine of theta would be opposite over hypotenuse, or negative 3 over square root of 13, and then cosine of theta will be adjacent over hypotenuse, or negative 2 over the square root of 13, and this is equal to 3 over 2, choice 2. Number 5. The average monthly temperature T of m in degrees Fahrenheit over a 12-month period can be modeled by T of m is equal to negative 23 cosine pi over 6 times m plus 56, where m is in months. What is the range of temperatures in degrees Fahrenheit of this function? So the minimum would be negative 1, and the max would be positive 1. And we know that the values m is equal to 2 and m is equal to 0 would make these true respectively. So negative 23 times negative 1 plus 56 would be 79, and negative 23 times 1 plus 56 would be 33. Therefore, the range would be 33 comma 79 choice 2. Number 6. Which expression is equivalent form of a times uh, the cubic root of a to the power of 4. So we can just rewrite this as a to the power of 1 times a to the power of 4 over 5. When you multiply exponents, you would add the exponents, so this would be choice 2. Number 7. The expression 3i times ai minus 6i squared is equivalent to? We can multiply this out to 3a times i squared minus 18i cubed we could write out the powers of i, I replace i squared with negative 1 and i cubed with negative i, and this would be choice 3. Number 8, which expression best represents the graph below? As we can see from the formula x minus h plus k, x will be plus a because it's x minus negative a, and add c. Therefore, this would be choice 1. Number nine, which function has the characteristics that when x approaches negative infinity, f of x also approaches negative infinity? So this motion will be not one and not two because both of those are approaching, y is approaching positive infinity. And once we go to our calculator and plot three and then plot four, we can see choice four is correct. Number 10, 
Number 10, the expression x squared plus 3, this expression squared, minus 2 times x squared plus 3, minus 24 is equivalent to. As we can see, there's a common term, x squared plus 3. We can make this equal to a to simplify it. a squared minus 2a minus 24 would factor out to a minus 6 times a plus 4. Once we substitute x squared plus 3 for a, we can see that x squared minus 3 times x squared plus 7 would be equal to this expression, which is choice 2. Number 11, what is the solution for the system of equations below? We can label these as a, b, and c, and start eliminating terms. For a and b, if we combine these, we can eliminate the z term, so 2x minus y is equal to negative 2. When we combine b and c, we can also eliminate the z terms. This will be 2x minus 11 is equal to negative 22. When we add those two new equations, we can see that y is equal to negative 2. And then we could plug this into any equation and see x is equal to 0. And then we could substitute our values of y and x into our original equation. And as we can see, z is equal to 0. So this is choice 3. Number 12. The roots of the equation x squared minus 4x is equal to negative 13 are. What we can do is complete the square. So b over 2 squared is equal to what? Plus 4. Add 4 to both sides and factor out the expression, which would be x minus 2 squared is equal to negative 9. When we find the square root of each of these, we can see x minus 2 is equal to plus or minus 3i. We could add 2, which would be x equal to plus or minus 3i plus 2, choice 1. Number 13, which expression is equivalent to 2x cubed plus 2x minus 7 over 2x plus 4? We can divide this regularly and make sure to eliminate the highest term and put our equations in parentheses to keep it neat. And we will add 0x squared to keep it neat as well. This would be choice one. Number 14. A popular celebrity tracks the number of people in thousands who have followed her on social media since January 1st, 2015. A summary of the data she recorded is shown in the table below. So the number of months is x, and the number of social media followers is y. The celebrity uses an exponential regression equation to model the data. According to the model, about how many followers does she have on June 1st, 2018? What we can do is first find the ex exponential regression equation by plotting these points into stat 1 and then calculating the exponential regression. We get the formula y is equal to 1.77 times 1.18 to the power of x. When x is equal to 41, this is equal to 1,850,950. And we got 41 by finding the number of months, which was 41 months. Number 15. Luminescence is the emission of light that is not caused by heat. A luminescent substance decays according to the function below. It can be approximated by what we can just do is find the power we're multiplying it by, which is negative 3t over 0 0.6, and multiplying e by that power, which is choice 3. Number 16. The heights of the students at Central High School can be modeled by a normal distribution with a mean of 68.1 and a standard deviation of 3.4 inches. According to the model, approximately what percent of the students will have a height less than 60 inches or greater than 75 inches? We have to find the normal CDF, which we could do by calculating second bars 2. Remember, 60 would be the upper limit and 75 would be the lower limit. It could be no greater than 60 and it could be no less than 75. When we add these, it's 2.98%. Number 17. Marissa and Sydney are trying to determine if there's enough interest in their school to put on a senior musical. They randomly surveyed 100 members of the senior class, and 43% of them said they would be interested in being a senior musical. Marissa and Sydney then conducted a simulation of 500 more surveys. Each of the 100 seniors, assuming 43% of the senior class, will be interested in the musical, and the output of the simulation is shown. So we know that the mean is 43, and the population, which is n, is 100. So we can use the formula, the square root of n times p times 1 minus p. 
This would be 100 times 0 0.43 times 1 minus 0 0.43, which is 5% choice 2. Number 18. For f of x is equal to cosine x, which statement is true? So even functions are symmetrical about the y-axis, and they look like this. And odd functions are the same if you rotate them 180 degrees, so they look like this. We can put all of these into our calculators to save time, and as you can see, choice 1 is correct. Number 19. The solution of x plus 3 over x minus 5 plus 6 over x plus 2 is equal to 6 plus 10x over x minus 5 times x plus 2 is. So we know the common denominator is x minus 5 times x plus 2. We can make all of these have the same denominator. We can multiply by x minus 2 and x minus 5 for the second term. Once we find the, all the numerators, we can add them up and combine like terms. And as we can see, choice one is correct. As we can see, five is an extraneous solution, but negative six is a real number solution. Number 20. Given x and y are positive, which expressions are equivalent to x cubed over y? What we can do is simplify these by following exponent rules. For Roman numeral one, we can see this would be y to the power of negative one over x to the power of negative three. To make exponents positive, you could just put them on the other side of the fraction, so this is true. For the next one, Roman numeral two, we can see this would be x to the power of nine over three times y to the power of negative one. This would be x cubed over y. For Roman numeral three, we can simplify this to x to the power of six times y to the power of eight over four over x cubed y cubed. This would simplify to x cubed times y to the negative one which is x cubed over y. So choice four is correct. Number 21, given the inverse function f of negative one x is equal to two over three x plus one over six, which function represents f of x? So for inverse, you're switching the y and x values. So x is equal to two thirds y plus one sixth. When we minus one sixth and divide by two thirds, this becomes three halves x minus one over four, which is equal to y, choice three. Number 22, how many equations below our identities? I think the quickest way to solve this would just be to substitute randomly chosen values of x and y into the equations. I chose the values x is equal to two, y is equal to three. Once I plug these into the equations, I could see that none of these equations were true. So four is the correct answer. If the focus of a parabola is 0, 6, and the directrix is y is equal to 4, what is an equation of the parabola? So the equation of a parabola is y minus k is equal to 1 over 4p times x minus h squared. And we know that hk is equal to the vertex. So we know the focus and the directrix, and the vertex is the midpoint between those. So we know the vertex is 0, 5. So hk is equal to 0, 5. So it will be y minus 5 is equal to 1 over 4p times x minus zero squared. And p is equal to one because it's the distance between the focus and vertex and the vertex and directrix. So we know that y minus five is equal to one over four times x squared. And once we divide by one fourth, we can see this is choice two. Number 24, John and Margaret deposit $500 into a savings account for their son on his first birthday. They continue to make a deposit of $500 on the child's birthday with the last deposit being made on the child's 21st birthday. If the account pays 4% annual interest, which equation it represents the amount of money in the account after the last deposit is made? So the equation for this is given in the reference table. It's A1 times one minus R to the power of N over one minus R, with A1 being the principal amount, $500, R being one plus 4% or 1.04, and N the exponent being 21, the amount in years. So as we can see, this would be choice two.